It is rolling for race number nine. The open trunk, Karen Favored. In a wide open wagering board, five to two. Number six, Crisado Delanoche. Wagering all over the place in this wide open event. Heel straightens out onto the back stretch. The Breeders' Crown final. Open trotters from the downs at Mohegan Sun Pocono. There, off and trotting. Rummy Three Rivals, Top Flight Angel gets the first call off stride when Dunbar Hall. Two beta brink from the outside, Homicide Hunter with good speed. Inside, Guardian Angel Oz drops down from the center. Marion Marauder moves up down to third as they round the turn. Crisado Delanoche floats out wide of Pinkman who defends pylon position. Warwee Roo is next, two lengths clear of will take charge. And way behind after the brink, they make their way towards that quarter. It's Dunbar Hall. They reach the opening quarter in a clocking of 27 seconds flat. They make their way towards for the first time, and it's Top Flight Angel who shows the way. Homicide Hunter settles into the pocket second. Marion Marauder found the three hole, and he's three lengths off the lead, and Zeron sends him to the outside again. Flushed by Guardian Angel Oz, who picks up cover. Pinkman shoots the gap at the inside, five lengths off the lead. Crusado Delanoche's thrown up into the flow. Warwe Rue is fourth over. Towards the inside, will take charge, saves ground, way back to Dunbar Hall. Half time's on the board, 55 and three. Top Flight Angel leads it by three parts of a length as they start up the bank stretch. Outside, Marion Marauder continues to dig in. Inches forward now, second on the grind. Homicide Hunter at the inside in the pocket third. Guardian Angel Oz is perfectly positioned by Kikeli. Length and half off the lead and now three wide. Here comes Crossado Delanoche. Inside, Pinkman is no place to go in heavy traffic. Warwe Roos three wide with cover. Will take charge. Angles to the outsides. Only five lengths off the lead. Mired in traffic. Three quarters, 124 and through it all. Top flight Angel leads by Smiling, Crisado Delanoche trying to sustain out wide. Marion Marauder still battling in between horses. On the far outside, Warwe Rue up the inside. Homicide Hunter Nap now sends him to the inside. They straighten away. Top Flight Hall up the inside. Homicide Hunter is all out. Outside, Crisado Delanoche. Top Flight Angel. Homicide Hunter is getting there. First Breeders' Crown win for Napolitano. Homicide Hunter up the inside to win. Top Flight Angel second, tight for third. 152 and three in the Breeders' Crown. That is your all-time Pocado Downs leading driver, George DiPolitato Jr., who's going to bank the biggest win of his career tonight uh, aboard Homicide Hunter in this half-million-dollar Breeders' Crown Final. Jay, the fastest trotter in history, bounces back tonight. It was a nice trip, but a well-earned uh, win here up the inside late. You know, the head of the stretch looked like uh, George wanted to go outside, and then he uh, quickly changed his mind and went to the inside, and that was obviously the winning move because uh, Top Flight Angel put in a brilliant effort. I mean, you had to fight off Mary Marauder, a lot of pressure, and did, did, did very well, but could not hold off the pocket-sitting Homicide Hunter, who's bred by Patrick Graham. Of Illinois, of Mr. Cantab, six-year-old uh, gelding. Chris Oaks, of course, one of the perennial top traders here at the uh, Downs of Mohegan Sun as well. For Adam Michelle Crawford's Crawford Farms Racing, Homicide Hunter comes up big tonight. The four top flight angel after that uh, game effort held the uh, second spot. And how about Warwe Rue? He rallied three wide behind Cruzado Della Noche. I believe he was up there in time for third. So it's uh, five, four, seven, and you'll see the three guardian angel Oz rounds out your super facta in fourth. Number five, Homicide Hunter is the unofficial winner. Four, Top Flight Angel was second. Number seven, Warwe Roo finished third. And fourth goes to number three, Guardian Angel Oz. Five, four, seven in race nine. George Napolitano Jr., longtime leading driver here at the Downs of Mohegan Sun Pocono in the by neck of the woods. Harris, Philadelphia gets his first, can you believe it, first Raiders Crown win behind the fastest trotter in the history of the sport, Homicide Hunters, bred by Dr. Patrick Graham, on by Crawford Farms Racing, Chris Oaks, the winning trader, and Apolitano, the winning drive. He's a six-year-old gelding by Mr. Cantab, the Like a Prayer Bear Evening Prayer. He's also our official. We'll have return prices and rundown in just a moment. The trophy presentation will be made in the winner's circle as this race is sponsored 
by the Meadowlands Tioga and Vernon Downs Jeff Garrell and Jason Settlemore. We'll be making the trophy presentation to the official winner in race nine. We'll check in with Greg Blanchard in just a moment. Homicide Hunter wins the open trot of the Breeders' Crown here at Mohegan Sun Pocono. Let's sneak in the prices before we send it down to Greg Blanchard. 1020, the winning mutual for Homicide Hunter, exact of $49.80. 50 cent try, $132.85. Dime Super, $93.78. Here's your rundown. Pinkman was fifth. Dunbar Hall finished ninth. Guardian Angel Oz was fourth. Top Flight Angel second. Homicide Hunter wins it. Rosado Delanoche was sixth. Warrowee Rue was third. We'll take John Jake. Marion Marauders seventh. Top down, 594. 216 52 and 3. Race 10 is coming up, but first let's send it down to a very jubilant winner's circle and a somewhat dry Greg Blanchard. George Napolitano, congratulations. You're a Breeders' Crown champion. How does it feel? Wow. Uh, words can't even explain it. It's just unbelievable. Uh, I'm so grateful. Yep. You know this track well. You drive in here uh, night in, night out, and uh, and have done very well here. Did you feel, or is there anything to that uh, old adage about a home track advantage? No, I mean, uh, I'm so confident in my trainers and, uh, and the horses and stuff. I mean, it's a pretty simple track to drive on. you got to have the right people, and I'm so thankful for that. This horse has had some uh, some incredible races this season come again. Uh, uh, just a decent result kind of last week in the elimination, but he seemed to be better tonight. What did they tell you about the horse coming in? Nothing. Chris didn't say a word. He he knows I know the horse and uh, I know the track and uh, I have confidence in him and I had, I had the whole world praying for me, so that helped. <laughs> but, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> There's Michelle Crawford coming in. And she's, uh, she's obviously quite happy and why not? Uh, George, uh, amazingly, it's your first crown win, but you said uh, this is also your first uh, crack at a Breeders' Crown. You've been around for a while. Yeah, I usually win the four claimers, but not the Breeders' Crown. <laughs> oh, but no, no you won the I, I'm so crown. happy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm so grateful and thankful. You know, what can I say? There's not much to say. When you win a big race like that, and the, you got the people that I got behind me, it's just words don't explain it. You worked out a perfect trip tonight. At what point did you think you were a winner? Um, you know, I, I knew I could count on the horse. He was kind of running out real bad, but I knew once I got him up in the passing lane, he'd do his work, and he did. Well done. Congratulations. Go enjoy it. Thank you, buddy. George Napolitano, Jr., winning his first Breeders' Crown title, gets it done with world champion Homicide Hunter.